in today's video, we are going to go over how to look at audit logs and also how to deploy a device in what's called AFW mode or manual deployment. So for a manual deployment of your device, it's going to be if a device is already been deployed as in it's already being used in the field or after you do a factory wipe. Anytime you want to do an, um, an MDM platform, if it is a device that is already out in the field, was not purchased from Verizon, and you need to get it put it into the MDM platform, you're going to follow these steps. One is you're going to perform a factory data wipe on it. Two, once it does starts back up, you're going to accept the terms and conditions that it's going to ask you on the screen of let's go or let's start, and start going through the prompts of selecting a Wi-Fi and activation. Once you read all the terms and conditions that comes up on your screen, what you're going to do next is get to the Google sign-in screen where it says add an account. What you're going to type in is call is AFW hashtag Knox Manage. That Knox Manage is going to be a capital K and a capital M. What this does is it mainly forces the Knox Manage application to download onto the device so you can continue to get, use the device that was not purchased from Verizon or from a reseller that can be in your Knox mobile enrollment. As you continue through the prompts on the screen, it's going to say some things like this device isn't private, your IT people have access to the device, do you want to um, go ahead and accept and continue to, turn, uh, to let the device then download the Knox Manage application. On step eight here, as you see, it's asking for a user ID and a tenant ID. What those are, as you see on my screen here, your username is your user ID. So for example, it would be SIG05, and then your tenant ID is going to be right here at the top, where it says talksig.com. The way that it's put out here, pushed together, is going to be your user ID at your tenant ID. So for example, ours would be SIG05 at talksig.com. We then put in our password that we have created, except to the terms and conditions. And as you go through the prompts on the screen, you'll get to the home screen and knock manage will then be fully deployed. Things that you get to pay attention to while you're doing that is if you come down here on the left and go to history, come down here to audit log, you're going to then see your audit logs. And what audit logs allows you to do is allows you to see everything that's going on inside your actual portal. You can see some things actually have user IDs that we are using. So for our example, it's SIG01. It's requesting device commands. You know, are we pushing out an application? Was the application downloaded successful? Was the deployment successful? So things, you know, was it successful? As you see here, you know, are we pushing out an application? Are we modifying any kind of configurations? This just gives you overall general knowledge of what's going on in, in your portal. Did it? Did you push it out, meaning you're the user ID that signed in here? Was it a system? So on and so forth. This is a big helping hand, especially when you're doing manual deployments to get the device in here to be able to get it squared away.